Hey, time to play with the old Note 9. Um, a while back I, uh, I dropped it and broke the screen. I was using it like that for a while, but it was getting annoying and, uh, yeah, it was no good. So, um, while I had the chance, I uh, sent it off to get fixed. I uh, had a look at the uh, the Samsung repair shops, the approved repair shops in uh, in the US, while the phone was over there. And um, I sent it off to uh, You Break I Fix. Uh, it's probably... A lot of people probably heard of that that store or that chain. Um, they work with Samsung uh, as like a th an approved third party repairer, and they repair the phones for you. So um, I sent the phone off there, got the screen fixed. Fantastic job! Screen is awesome. Uh, I love it. They also replaced the uh, like the chassis or the frame or whatever the uh, aluminium part because that was a bit scratched up from being dropped. So that came back all brand new, and uh, apparently they replaced the battery while they were inside um, as a, a courtesy. Just yeah. You know, phone might be getting a bit old this phone was almost a year old or so um, a few months old anyway and they replace the batteries a matter of course so the battery life is all good the only problem is when I got it back the camera's broken um, they had when they'd taken the uh, the phone apart they um, had inadvertently touched the inside of the lens and there's actually a fingerprint I'll inset um, photos and videos of um, what's going on as um, as I'm talking so you, you can see there there's a, a fingerprint on the inside of the lens which um, is on the uh, the main camera the uh, the standard like uh, one-time zoom camera so it's blowing out all the images um, you can see it looks like a, a, a bad soap opera uh, with all the all the the glow on the images so that's basically um, almost unusable and then um, also on the uh, the zoom lens the uh, the second lens there it's uh, it doesn't focus we get a problem where the um, you, you try to use it and it just buzzes and vibrates and uh, goes nowhere until you actually sometimes if you shake the phone or you tap the phone it'll somehow catch the mechanism inside and then pull into focus okay so you can see here all that foggy bloom around the, the lights this is just my workbench and that's from the fingerprint inside it pops up tells me that a clean lens will make for better photos and yes I do clean the lens with the uh, the microfiber cloth and that color or the uh, the bloom remains and it can get really pronounced on on bright light you see that just that halo the fog and if we go to the uh, zoom off it's just look at that if I oh, yep there we go it's pulled in after shaking it and tapping it we'll go back to the uh, the one times two times uh, now I was told on the phone that this was due to a software update and I just have to wait a little one or two extra seconds for it to uh, to uh, pull focus um, I've had two f uh, software updates one when I first got the phone back then I sent it they didn't fix it and sent it back to me then there was another software update uh, that's how long this has been going on for and um, yeah it, it's it's always the same it's always doing this and it'll do this all day like it doesn't pull focus at all yeah apparently that's a, a somewhat relatively common problem with these phones uh, it must be something to do with the mechanisms a little bit delicate but yeah it, it went to them in perfect working condition except for the screen and came back with a non-functional camera so I sent it back um, at this point I was in Japan so I <laughs> I was back in Japan so I had to um, international posted back for warranty at my cost and uh, they sent it back and they hadn't even opened the phone the uh, the the tech who was looking at it was rather rude um, throughout the whole process and uh, he told me he'd opened up and cleaned the fingerprint and replaced the camera and I got it back and the fingerprint was still there and the camera was still broken so he hadn't even bothered to open the thing up which leads us to where we are now because I'm not sending it back to America um, I don't trust them enough to um, get this thing fixed by them so it, it's the old saying you want a job done properly you got to do it yourself so I bought parts um, I went to Wittrigs uh, webs the website Wittrigs Wittrigs.com whatever it is um, and bought the parts needed to fix this thing uh, this is not an endorsement for Wittrigs in particular I paid full price for this they didn't contact me I didn't contact them I just went on the site bought the parts they sent it to me fully at my cost but they seem to come in pretty good time I uh, paid for the uh, FedEx shipping and uh, we got all the parts that I think we will need so what I'm going to do is um, I bought the rear case, the the rear glass, because uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to pull it out without breaking it. So I thought I'd better buy that. Um, it looks like it. 
I bought a new uh, lens as well, but it looks like it comes with a lens pre-installed. I didn't realise that. I think the photos didn't show that, or maybe they did. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, I've got a new rear lens, just in case I need it. Um, I, of course, have the, uh, the new camera. And these, uh, these thingies. They're like thin bits of plastic, so when you're uh, taking the back off, you can slip these in and it won't adhere back down onto the phone. You can like shim in there so that the glue sticks to these shims and uh, as you work around you're not sticking it back down as you work around and having to go around in circles. And they also sent these wipes which um, removes excess dirt one and two. You've got a wet for one and two for dry so you can wet clean it and then dry it off. Kind of the sort of thing you use to, dry, uh, to clean and dry your, uh, your uh, greeting glasses I think. So, I think that's all we're going to need. Uh, I've just got to be careful when I take the lid off, because the uh, ribbon cable inside connects around about, around about there-ish. So don't just take it off, lift it. I think if you lift it that way is the safest way. Maybe that way. But yeah, you got to be careful when you lift it, and then just get your, uh, your little spudging tool in and flick the little connector off, and then uh, that'll come out. The, um, the camera and everything is on the motherboard, so when you take it off, you um, just have the lens and that, the uh, the camera isn't attached to the lens at all. The, uh, the outer, like protective lens that is. So to get this thing open, um, we're going to have to heat up the back around the edge because the um, adhesive is around the edge. And uh, we want to heat that up, open it up, and then uh, see what we've got inside. I think we're going to have to take the motherboard out, which is going to be a few screws. Once you've got the back off, that's the hard part, is um, getting through that adhesive. Once you've got that open, then... Um, we should be good to go. So I've got the old hair dryer ready uh, to heat this thing up. I, I need to buy an actual proper heat gun. I haven't bought one yet because I don't use one that often. But um, for now I'm going to use the, uh, the hair dryer. And if I need a bit of extra heat, I've got the uh, hot air pen for the, uh, the soldering station. So that can go around. I've got that set to 150 degrees. Go around the edges. It's too small, too low volume to heat the whole back up. Hence the, um, the hair dryer to bring it all up to a, a warm temperature. And I can just touch it up with the, um, the hot air pen. And uh, also I've got one of these uh, phone repair kits you get whenever you buy a new screen or a new thing for your phone. Got a suction cap and a, like little plectrums kind of thing to get under the edges. These You get these real cheap. Um, you often get them for free, like I said, when you buy a new screen for your phone or a new thing to get you need to get into your phone for. And I've also got a few uh, plastic razor blades. They're not sharp, but they come down to a, a pointy edge so you can get right in the, the gaps. And of course... The plastic strips to go around and um, stop the thing sticking back down once we've got it open. Well, that was pretty easy with the hairdryer, that's all I needed. Okay, now there's that connector. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's a bit hard. I'm just carefully opening it up. Right down in there. Yeah, you can just see that little bit of white there. That's the connector. That's the cable to the connector for the uh, fingerprint. So I'll get my little spudger. There we go. That's all you need to do. And we are in like Flynn. Look at that. There's the, uh, that little wire you've got to be really careful of, wiggling around there. And, oh, can you see the fingerprint? Right there. You can. Look at that. Someone's put their dirty mitts in there. That's the problem that I've been having. One of the problems. So there it is, the inside of the phone. Okay, we're getting serious. We've got the, uh, the work mat out here, just so I can not lose the screws. I can put them in the little compartments. So, first of all, there's this section here, there's like a top frame. Basically, it involves undoing every screw that you can find. But we'll do it kind of in a sequence.
Probably should take the S Pen out as well. Alright, that is our top frame. This contains the inductive charging and the NFC coils. Maybe that's it, I think. It's got the contacts just there. And you can see in the sheen the, uh, the coils there. There's our battery. So if we unhook the battery. And uh, don't use the the battery cable to pull the battery out. Uh, that's glued down. Okay, I'm going to have to play with that. Maybe we can get away without taking the battery out. I don't want to damage anything. We have to take all of this out because the, uh, the camera is mounted from the underside. Okay, this part can come out. That, I believe, is the speaker. Just in here. In that enclosure there. There's our motherboard. This one, you do not want to break, because this is basically the phone. If you break this board, buy a new phone. Because that's basically what you're going to have anyway. You probably buy these boards. Maybe, maybe, but... Uh, just don't break it. So there's a connector for the uh, camera and the camera should kind of just become unstuck. It's double sided taped in there. So I might need to apply a little... oh there we go. Just... yep, 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 yep. If we carefully... I'm going to apply a little bit more heat. Yeah, there we go. There's a camera. And if I hold that up to the mic, shouldn't be making that noise. That's what the problem is. And we now have a new camera, which doesn't make the noise. Yep. That there is your problem. Now, should be a matter of just plonking that in there. Make sure it lines up with the grooves. And plug it in. Just like that. No worries. I think we're ready to reinstall. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, leave the back off. I'm going to put this back in. I'm going to test the camera before I uh, close the back up because I don't want to put it all back together and have the camera faulty again. Okay, I've got it in. I've got the boards all screwed in. I haven't screwed this one in yet. I'll, um, I've turned it on and um, let all the messages come through because I had it turned off for a while. I got all the emails coming through, but now it stopped buzzing. We'll um, give it a go. The camera and see what the camera says. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, a reflection from my uh, lights. If I hold it up, you might be able to see that there's uh, there's no bloom really because um, the fingerprint was on here, but that's looking good. And if we zoom in, 
straight away. Not even a hesitation for the uh, focus. I don't know if that's focusing properly, but I'll, I'll um, inset some uh, video around about now to show you how it's uh, perfectly working. Like it focuses straight away. Maybe a quarter of a second. That's fantastic. I'm really, really happy with that. All right, let's turn this phone off. Power off. Because I don't want to go poking around. Yep, just buzzed off. So I've also cleaned the inside of this. So this is all perfectly clean. That's why I had it facing downwards. So any dust wouldn't settle on top. Um, I'll put this thing back together. One final test and we should be done. And there we go. We are done. Screen works fine. Uh, camera. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Zoom lens. Perfect. That is fantastic. Front camera, you look at yourself. That, that's good. I'm giving myself two enthusiastic thumbs up. I am really, really happy that I got that fixed. All back together, all happy. Just got to give it a little bit of a wipe down, and we're done. That is great. So, that's how you do it. Easy peasy, really. It's not that difficult. Um, the screen would be more difficult to take off if you want to save the screen, but you don't need to uh, touch a screen at all um, to, to take all the guts out. Um, if the screen's broken already, it doesn't matter if you break it more taking it out. Um, if I ever break the screen again, I'll, I'll be doing it myself and um, I'll show you how to do that. But I'm not planning on breaking anything more on this phone. Awesome phone, I love it. So um, I'm going to continue taking better care of it than what I did before. So that's all we got for this video. That's how you replace the camera in a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. We'll see you next time.